Well, I think today was an incredibly exciting day um, because we're seeing the sorts of changes that agriculture needs, that needs to be made in agriculture right across New Zealand, and not only in New Zealand, but in all the Western countries of the world, where we've gone down this track of trying to replace biological activity with chemical fertilizers. It's been, I don't know, you know, a 50 or so year experiment that has uh, failed pretty, pretty badly. And I think the results that we're seeing in terms of, uh, like all the plants have shallow roots on them, we're not building topsoil. And then when we've got these shallow soils, we've got issues with how water moves in the landscape. We get pugging up and we get droughts and we get all the things that should be in the soil ending up in the water. So we've got eutrophication of waterways. Like there are just so many issues that come from the very fact that the high analysis fertilizers result in short root systems on our plants. And if we want to have longer root systems building deeper soil and getting all the benefits that we get from deeper soil in terms of farm productivity, farm profitability and landscape function, then we really have to move away from high analysis ferts and we have to support the biology in the soil with something that's going to, uh, like a biostimulant, that's going to, going to support soil biology. And then the other thing that we've realised as well is that it's very difficult to get a low number of species like just having ryegrass and clover, for example. It's, it's not how nature works. Nature works in communities of diverse, you know, like a diverse community with lots of different kinds of plants. So when we start getting more diversity there, in combination with using a biostimulant that's going to support life in the soil and removing uh, the things that are going to be detrimental to life in the soil like high analysis fertilizers, fungicides, insecticides, all of those things. It's just a whole new ball game as far as agriculture is concerned. Here on the farm today at Willis Farm we've just seen amazing examples um, like really good soil building examples with the agri on its own, but then even more astounding soil building uh, examples when we combine agri with diversity. And uh, I mean, Maya has just been absolutely blown away. He was so excited. He hadn't even dug holes in that paddock and we went up there on Saturday to have a look and he dug one hole and then he couldn't believe it and he dug another hole. And I said, you're not gonna have any paddock left. You dug about 50 holes. And, and then Taylor got really, really excited about it all. <laughs> and um, he's going, we're going to be famous. <laughs> I said, yeah, you will be, you know, because it was, it was a really exciting thing to actually see what was, what was happening. And that paddock has been in agri -C for two and a half years before it went into the, into the multi-species crop. So I think that's important as well, that it wasn't just like high, high analysis for it and then, oh, well, let's put in a multi-species crop because you're still not going to get the good root systems. So all of those things working together. It's been, um, it's been a great day and you can tell from the conversations that are still happening out there that people have been pretty inspired from what they've seen and I was certainly very inspired when I saw it on Saturday. I thought, wow, you know, it's going to be easy to, um, to run today like you, you're not feeling that you're defending anything because it was just so exciting what, what we were seeing. But um, yeah, I'm really, as I said, I'm really honoured to be associated with the whole project, to be associated with agri because truly, you know, you've worked really hard over a long time to, to look, we're right at the cusp now. The change is absolutely happening. And the other thing is with the compliance and the regulations and, you know, overseer and all of that, I mean, geez, you get, people are going to have to change whether they want to or not. But why not, why not be excited about the change? Why not be welcoming the change? Why not be wanting the change? Why not just go, well, overseer is totally irrelevant because it doesn't even fit this model. Um, we don't have to worry about regulations because we're not even using it. You know, we don't have to worry about compliance because we're not using any of these things and we're building topsoil and the whole thing is getting healthier, including our animals. You know, healthy animals, we're producing better quality milk or meat uh, or vegetables or whatever it might be. You just get a tick in absolutely every box. So I think it's a great day for New Zealand today and a great day for agriculture and a great day for the future of farming, really. I'm, I'm quite excited about it all.